Hi everyone, this is Mark Tibor again with a short little video on why Pepperidge Farm sells at a higher price compared to other routes and how exactly is the Pepperidge Farm distributor paid. So let's get started. The easiest way to take a look at this is just to look at an invoice to get an idea. So here is an invoice and we can see right here of items being delivered, uh, the quantity, the description, retail, wholesale, and the extended amount. And then this down here, which is the discount amount. But we're gonna focus on the bottom here because that's the most important. So here we see that $791.18 was delivered. And with that, there was a $124.50 discount. Now that discount is not paid by the distributor, it is paid by Pepperidge Farm. So this account would owe Pepperidge Farm $666.68. But how exactly am I paid? Well, I am paid off this top number. So I am paid off the 791.18. And as I described in the other video, we are paid a 20% commission rate. So 791.18 at 20% is $158.24. Very important, you really need to know how you're being paid because there are some companies that don't pay off this number, they pay off of that number. And if they're if they're paying off that number, you can see that my commission would have only been $133. So just make sure that you ask exactly how you're being compensated. Well, why is the commission rate so important? What is the difference between 15, 16, or even 20%? Well, as I showed on the last slide, my uh, commission on that store was $158.24. There are many companies that only pay a 15 to 16% commission rate. And if that was the case, my uh, commission could be as low as $118.68. And you're thinking, well, that's, that's not too bad. Well, that's a $40 difference, and that's just on one invoice. So you're thinking, is this a lot of money? Well, once we scale this up to an entire week, the route that is currently for sale is currently selling $7,259. So from that, we can see that the commission is $1,451.80. If I was paid only at 15%, my commission would have been $1,088.85. That turns out to be $362 a week or almost $19,000 a year. Big difference. And if we really want to scale it up and you're interested in buying the Niagara County route, which brings in commissions of $2,756 a week, at 15%, that would have only been $2,067. So now we're looking at $689 a week difference or over $35,000 a year. Let's take a look at the sales comparison. As I mentioned with the route currently for sale, uh, I am making $1,451.80 a week on sales of $72.59. Now, if you have a chip route or a bakery route or a little Debbie route and you're making a lower percentage, let's for argument's sake say that you're only making 15%, how much would you have to sell? Well, to make the same commission, you would have to sell $9,678 a week. Now, keep in mind, as I mentioned in the other video, the $72.59 is done in three days a week, approximately 20 hours. How much time are you currently doing selling $9,678 a week? Is it three days, four days, five days, or six? Well, let's just go over some of the benefits of a Pepperidge Farm snack distributorship. As I mentioned, um, we are paid 20% commission, Pepperidge Farm pays for the uh, promotions. We are a higher wholesale cost, which leads to higher volume. And as I mentioned in the other video, the price that was set was not based with the two price increases that we are currently having. Most accounts are only serviced once or twice a week. If you have a bakery route or a chip route, you might be servicing like your Walmart five times a week. We are only delivering to Walmarts twice a week. Most of our TOPS account only receive once a week service. As I mentioned, uh, that Pepperidge Farm really doesn't have any true competitors. We are an upscale cookie line. Uh, if we were another type of line, say that if we had chips or uh, pretzels, how many types of competitors are out there offering similar items? You have Frito-Lay, you have Utz, you have Snyder's, and I'm sure that there's a few others out, out there as well. Uh, so this is one of the benefits of being the premium cookie line. 
Partridge Farm has been in business for over 80 years, and we have been part of the Campbell Soup Company since 1961. We are financially stable, being owned by Campbell Soups, who just had $8.5 billion in sales in fiscal 2021. If you have any questions or if you're interested in purchasing either the uh, partial territory or all of Niagara County, here's my contact information. Feel free to reach out to me via text, phone call, or email. Thank you.